John had his own sound that was slightly different, but but he but he influenced me. That's why I got a Rickenbacker, and that's why um, uh, I went for that kind of. Uh, it's more of a piano sound, really. But uh, of, everyone hears things differently. Uh, but it, it was trying to emulate the, the, the kind of a, you know the bass strings of a, a grand piano, and I think John had the same thoughts in his head. Now all of a sudden you've got this incredible sound coming out of this bass, you know, and, and I think that changed rock and roll. I didn't at that time realize how much of a force he was, despite my generation. It wasn't until later, really, then you start listening to the Who's records. And there's a lot of crash and bang and wallop, but there's always this kind of sinewy, very liquid bass line going on. And you realize that there's an intelligence there. John was doing that, that particular, you know what I mean, that, that sort of pluck in the, the, the bass. You know, it's, a, it's, it's, it's difficult to say what it is because it isn't a normal bass line. It's, it's something else. I don't think you should actually restrict yourself to one style of playing. I mean, sometimes I just play with my thumb and forefinger octaves and stuff. And other times I'll, I'll play sideways. I'll, I'll change hand positions uh, a lot of times during songs. I mean, John's 